Hello, YouTube. It's me again, Mr. La Barbera here. We, uh, we're we going to give you another little taste of some HESPA slash standardized test questions and strategies, all right? This one would be considered a multiple choice question. There are eight runners in a race. How many different ways are there for the runners to finish in first, second, and third place? And they give us their four choices. Um, so what I'm going to try and do this time is kind of try to teach you and train your brain how it should think. Eight runners in a race. Well, when there's a race, how many spots are the user? First, second, and third, right? There's first place, second place, third place. No matter what, just in general, whether you're in a marathon or you're swimming or playing a sport, whatever, there's always three spots. Well, this is saying that there's eight specific runners. So how many total people have the chance or possibility to come in first? And that would be eight. If there's eight people starting a race, each one of those individuals have a chance to come in first. Well, after someone comes in first, they're not going to come in second. So how many people does that leave for the second spot? Seven. Very good. And then we would continue with this process and this pattern down to six because we're only looking at first, second, and third. Anytime we're looking at the possible outcomes or the amount of different ways, it is the operation of multiplication or product. 8 times 7 times 6, and we get 336 different ways, which would be B. And one thing that you'll realize, a common theme is, is that they're realistic questions. So we're talking about realistic situations. So think about it logically as if you were there or as actually if you were actually going to go through it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Ciao.